museum in London. Would you like to hear about the history of it? Well, it all started with the Great Romans. Now, they two times to conquer Britain. But in 43 AD, they came back with 4,000 people and took over. <gasps> Floating head in the sky that Finley calls God. I'm not actually God. I'm just his imagination. But please don't tell him. He thinks I'm real. No, I'm not. So anyway, what am I doing again? Oh yes, I remember. I'm talking about history. So, Queen Boudicca of Iceni, it was angry at the Romans. And so, she burnt lots of settlements to a crisp. But then the Romans rebuilt them bigger. And with a wall. And so, all's fine. Until the problems in other areas meant... They have to slowly abandon. And, in f and by 410 AD, it was completely abandoned. When the Romans left, the Anglo-Saxons quickly took over. They made a settlement outside of the Great Walls called Ludenwick. And it was under the Saxon rule. In 886 AD, the Anglo-Saxons had to move inside the old Roman walls for a defence. And therefore, they needed a new, very strange name. Lundenburg. 42, King Edward the Confessor made Westminster Abbey. Oh la la. 1066, Edward the Confessor died with no heir to the throne and everything went into chaos. Many people fought for the ground in the Battle of Hastings, all with good reasons to get the crown. In the end, William the Bastard won, after he got no worried by wind. And after he burned a few times to crisp, they gave him the crown. He now adopted a new name, William the Conqueror. Under the reign of William the Conqueror, many fortresses was created so he could watch over his newly conquered kingdom, including the Tower of London. In 1097, William II created Westminster Hall, also known as Westminster Palace, also known as the Houses of Parliament. Hello, I am Future Man, and I am 
have seen the outcome of this documentary. And it's terrible. So I'm here to fix it. In 1176, William II created another incarnation of the London Bridge. William II's son, Henry I, had no proper heir to the throne. So when he died, their friends, the French, got the crown. In 1200 AD, Westminster became the capital of England. From 1348 to 1666, there were 16 major plague outbreaks. When King Henry VI went mad, Richard, the Duke of York, took over and started the War of the Roses. In 1485, King Henry VII of the House of Tudor won the War of the Roses and was rewarded with the crown. King Henry VII had two kids. Arthur and Henry. Arthur was the original heir, but when he died, Henry became the new heir to the throne. King Henry VIII had six wives. I believe it went divorced, beheaded, died, divorced, beheaded, survived. They gave birth to Edward, Mary and Elizabeth. King Edward VI did not want to marry as queen, so she made Lady Jane Grey his heir. But in 1554, Mary killed Jane Grey. Mary was famous for her many executions. This gave her the nickname Bloody Mary. 1992, William Shakespeare started his career and in 1599, the Globe Theatre was built. Everyone loved his plays and some people said his plays were the best ever. Queen Elizabeth the First knew if she married, the crown would go to her husband, so she knew to never marry. That gave her the name, the Virgin Queen. That meant she had no heir to the throne, and in 1603, that was the end of the Tudors. In 1603, King James I of Scotland, from the House of Stuart, became the King of England. In 1604, when James I arrived in London, a massive plague outbreak happened. Many people saw this as a bad omen. In 1605, Guy Fawkes tried to explode the House of Parliament but failed. We celebrate this on Bonfire Night. King James I was not good friends with Parliament, so his son, King Charles I, started a war with Parliament in 1644. MP Oliver Cornwall decided that in order to win the war he must make the army. Due to the creation of the army he won the war and became the ruler. He banned Suez and let the Jews back. When Oliver Cornwall died, King Charles I's son, King Charles II, was crowned. Parliament quickly found some people called William and Mary 
and gave them the crown. Then in 1689, they made them sign the Bill of Rights, giving Parliament power. In 1666, a baker's oven started a fire next to a can of fuel. This started the Great Fire of London. After the fire, they decided to make all houses out of stone. 1677, the, the monument of the Great Fire of London was created to celebrate the Great Fire of London. In 1710, St. Paul's Cathedral was created. In the 17th century, tea and coffee started being sold in shops all around London. In 1662, Charles II became the patron of the Royal Society, whose goal was to research the world through the view of science. In 1714, Queen Anne died with no heir to the throne. Therefore, the Stuart era ended. Next, Parliament brought in the German Protestant Prince George. In 1712, the steam engine was created. This was the start of the Industrial Revolution. Soon, factories started appearing everywhere. In 1761, they figured out how to make canals and they went mad putting canals everywhere. This only stopped in 1804 with the creation of the Locomoto Railway. Not many people liked the Industrial Revolution because they had to work in terrible workspaces in factories. In 1721, Robert Walpole became the first ever Prime Minister. Throughout the 18th century, London expanded massively. In 1780, the Tower of London had its only American prisoner, Henry Lawrence. In 1762, King George III claimed Buckingham Palace, then known as Buckingham House, and over the next 75 years, it was expanded into the present day Buckingham Palace. In seventeen eighty, Jordan riots protested about Roman Catholics. Many Catholic churches were damaged and 285 rioters were killed. In 1750, Westminster Bridge was constructed and the London Bridge had its first competition. In the Metropolitan Police were established. In 1836, the first railway was opened and soon after the Great Rail Termin was created. In 1863, the Great London Underground was created. In the Metropolitan Board of Works was established to cope with the rapid growth of London. Parliament gave consent to the Metropolitan Board of Works to make the sewers. The engineer was called Joseph Basil Getty. They still use the sewer today.
1838, Queen Victoria was crowned. Many people came to London in the Victorian period, including the Irish because they had no potatoes. First, London was ruled by a county council. But London grew so big that it had to split into 28 boroughs. In the 19th century, many famous structures were made, including Big Ben, Falga Square, Tower Bridge. In World War One, lots of bombs fell on London and 700 people died. The period between the wars saw London progress massively. In the Blitz, there was massive bombing, and there was even the Second Great Fire of London. The bombing stopped, then restarted in the Little Blitz. 30,000 people died, 50,000 injured, and thousands homeless. In 1952, Queen Elizabeth II was crowned. Because of the many homeless people, they started building flats all across London. In London, they used so much coal that everything was covered in smoke. So they decided to make uh, zones called fogless zones and in those zones they used fogless uh, sources. In 1960 London was brightened up by bands such as the Beatles. In 1950 onwards Many people from Commonwealth countries that came to London. In 1970 to 1990, there were many terrorist attacks from the Provisional IRA. In 1965, the Great London Council and 32 more boroughs were established. Slowly, over time, London's trade status lowered down. In 1980, the Thames Barrier was made to protect London from the tide. In 1980, they got rid of the Great London Council. In 2000, the Great London Authority was established. It was similar to the Great London Council, but with an elected mayor and a London Assembly. London had grown so much and was now considered a world city. At the start of the 21st century, many structures were made to celebrate it, including the London Eye. Ooh, la, la. It's one of the only cantilevered structures in the world. In 2005, there were many terrorist attacks. There were three bombings on the London Underground and one bombing near King's Cross. 50 people died and 750 were injured. In 2011, there were many riots all across London. In 2017, there was a terrible terrorist attack on Westminster Bridge. In 2012, there was the Great Olympics and many fans came to watch.
In 2020, that was the terrible COVID-19 that decimated all of London. In 2020, a vaccine was made for COVID-19. In 2022, Queen Elizabeth II had her platinum jubilee. 2022, a young boy got homework for London.